In entomology, you want your bumblebee specimens to look like this. When they're clean, all the hairs are visible, and they're nice and fluffy, and they're much more easy to identify. The hair is not matted, nice and straight, all the colors and markings visible. It makes them much easier for identification for specialists. But when you collect bumblebees, you trap them in blue vein traps, you collect them into alcohol, put them in centrifuge vials like this. When they come out of here, their hairs will be all matted. There's going to be pollen and uh, it looks like honey uh, mixed in with the hair. So how do you clean bumblebees? I'm going to show you how to wash and dry bumblebees to prepare them for pinning to make very good entomological specimens. Cleaning bumblebees is easily done using common household materials. Basically, you just need something like sunlight dish soap, a canning jar, a spray bottle here with some 70% alcohol. Essentially, the first thing you're going to do is give your bumblebees a shampoo. So here I've got a centrifuge vial. There's about 50 bumblebees and they are currently collected in 95% ethanol. I just dump them all in here like that. Make sure you pull out any labels. So next, I'm just gonna cover this over here with the mesh and pour it off. I'm gonna pour the ethanol into a waste ethanol jar here. You don't want all that ethanol to go down the drain. It's bad for the environment and it can sometimes be reclaimed. So I'm gonna put a dollop of sunlight dish soap on top of it here. You can see it right like that. Next, I'm gonna wash. So just add some water to the top of it here and then just give it a good shake like this. And just mix up the bees, agitate them really well. Try not to lose any down the drain. Here, I'll bring it over so you can see. So the bees are all sitting in sunlight dish soap water here. Just give it a little harder shake. There. Now we're going. Nothing, nothing going down the drain so far. So, you want to wash for about a minute, uh, slightly warm water, that's about best. Okay, next you want to rinse out all the soapy water here. I think they've been washed pretty good here. Basically, I just put it under lukewarm water and rinse, run out the soap. I'm pretty confident I've got all the soap out here. I'm just going to drain out the water, the last of the water, and then I'm going to give it a light wash over with 70% alcohol here, just to one last little swill, and I'll, I'll pour this into the waste ethanol jar. Like bartending. So right now the bees don't look that great. They look like a big wet mess of flies, but that's gonna change pretty quickly. This is the fun part. For the next step to get the bees looking all fuzzy wuzzy, we're going to use two things. We're going to use a salad spinner to get the water out and we're going to use a blow dryer and some paper towel to fluff up the bees. First of all, I'm going to dump the bees out on some paper towel here just to get the large amount of water off of them. So just dump them all out there, pat them off very lightly, quite wet. So I'm just gently patting the bees dry first of all, that's enough. Next, we're going to put the bees into the salad spinner. And uh, I've already got paper towel inside the salad spinner. I really like this soft, I think it's three-ply paper towel. It seems to be quite absorbent and uh, gentle on the bees as well. The bees are quite durable. They're quite, bumblebees are very robust insects. Um, they don't break easily. Uh, even the wings are very, very strong. So. Um, Normally I'd use forceps, but actually that's fine for those. I'm going to arrange the bees in here. I'll use forceps for that. So I'm just gonna sort of move them around to the edges of the, uh, I'll just use my fingers. <laughs> move them around to the edges of the uh, salad spinner. It, it acts a bit like a centrifuge, really. And it'll draw the moisture away from them uh, into the paper. Um, that's probably good enough. And then you wanna put some paper over top to stop them from moving. So I just gently use more paper towel here and kind of trap them in there with some layers of paper towel like this. This is the fun part, spinning the bees. I got it from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. I want to do this about a hundred times. 
Let's take a look and see what the bees look like. So if you look at that, the bees are quite a lot drier now. They almost look fluffy, some of them here. So we're halfway there. So I make sure the jar is dry first. First we gave the bees a shampoo, now we're going to give the bees a blow dry. You want to blow dry them for about five minutes. So they're in the jar here, all the bees with some paper towel. I've just got a regular hair dryer, I've got the mesh on top. I'm going to turn it on, high, invert it, and just dry the bees like this for five minutes. First I felt like a bartender, now I feel like I'm a hairdresser. And that's it. Now you're an expert at shampooing and blow drying bumblebees. Here we have some beautiful fluffy bees all ready for pinning. And hopefully you can see that these bees now are very nice. They are uh, beautifully uh, clean, all the hairs and colors are visible. Uh, if you need to fluff them out anymore you can always use uh, a paintbrush. Uh, this is just an artist's brush, I've got an opus uh, framing. You want to pin the bees almost immediately. They will dry out after about one to two hours and then their limbs are more fragile and more easily broken. But right now, for the next hour or so, they're very flexible. You can uh, pin them and move them and position the limbs quite easily. When you pin them, there might be a small amount of fluid that leaks out, uh, but uh, hopefully not too much. You can always dry that off or you can also uh, fluff them up a little bit more with an artist's brush. Now you're an expert at washing and drying bumblebees. I'm Adrian Behenna. I'm working contract at the Royal BC Museum for Environment Canada, Canadian Wildlife Service. Thank you.